I think a lot of people assumed that the war in the woods was over, that old growth logging had ended in British Columbia, that the activists had won. Creating a nuisance by obstructing the plaintiff from carrying on logging and road building in the wall brand on Vancouver Island. Sadly, that's not the case. When they first log, they only took the bestest. And every year, there's less and less old growth, fine grain, high grade wood, and it's worth more and more and more. Island Timberlands has told us they're going to log every stem, and it's their legal right to do so. So they're out to prove their point by the looks of it. I mean, it's like shooting the last panda bears or, or slaughtering the last blue whales or rhinoceroses. There's no room for that anymore. This one's like 700 right here. That industry helped me raise my kids, put food on the table, paid the rent. We no longer produce pulp in Port Alberni. We no longer have a plywood mill. What are we going to do? When forest industries have that much control over the land base, basically what they're doing is holding communities hostage to their values. Our watershed is not controlled by the people in this valley. It's controlled by one private corporation. Well, how did private land become private? It became private because we stole it from the Aboriginal peoples that lived here and made it private. You know, how can you teach your children how to build a canoe out of these big cedar trees when they're no longer cedar trees? What does this place mean to us? What do the forests truly mean to us? What is our dependency on having them standing? And then, once we understand that, are we going to allow someone to simply come in and take it away from us? There is a fundamental conflict, and it's the fundamental conflict that every community on this earth now faces. You have to make money. But can we do it in a way that's not destroying the island? Absolutely. Forestry isn't just what you take, it's what you leave. Local lands, local people, local decisions. One giant symbiotic relationship. I believe in natural intelligence. I believe nature is intelligent. And I think there's a bridge between us and nature that we need to rebuild. We've never ceded this land, we've never given it up, and that's why I know we have to fight for it until we get it. I know when we want to do something, we are invincible because we have determination and we have love and we have something to fight for. <laughs>